wake up and the England squad approach you. Yeah. And they come together, they both <laughs> offer you yeah. an amazing opportunity to play for the country. Yes. Who are you choosing? England. Jamaica did approach me. They've approached me for two years. I'll say the same thing now as what I said to them when they asked me. I've always said I wanted to play for England. I still have that dream now. I think, for me, I have to... people to mg sports tv and apparently steve mclaren has solved the cdm problem he has finally identified well as you can listen from the interview a while ago it's not new but he has approached a specialist for the air of the pitch that we have been suffering for the longest time and this is a player that we know about for a long time now for me personally, <laughs> people are we're not custom about this, yeah? We're not, me, 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 I am willing to take the cousin for this. I am willing to take the cousin for this one. We're not going to me for this one. Um, but before we get into the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, turn on notification bell, whatever. All I name them when them ring sword and call me. We have, we have got call me another one, yeah? We have got, we have got call me in this one as well when i've got tell me say me at this when i've got tell me say me at that when i tell me say me rate it or whatever whatever if you if you know cost about the video and you don't like it no problem at all touch the dislike button no problem at all this one is my personal perspective i'm going to give you the analytic perspective as well i'm also giving you my personal opinion now give you an analytic opinion from a footballing perspective, I'm not gonna give my personal opinion from a football um, perspective. So now I get facts and, and 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 statistics and data, but now also get my personal opinion on what I think about um, um, Isaac Aiden. So let let's um, let me just uh, read out the article first, so you guys can hear know what's happening. So. Newcastle United midfielder Isaac Aiden is set to switch his international allegiance to Jamaica from England. According to a report from the Team Talk, the 29-year-old 20, midfielder who has represented England um, from U16 to U21 levels have never earned a senior um, cap for the three Lions, making him eligible to, um, for the switch under FIFA regulations. Aiden, who qualifies for Jamaica through his father, has agreed to join C. McLaren's reggae boy as they aim to qualify for the 2026 World Cup, which will be held in North America. The paperwork for us, which is reportedly being finalized ahead of Jamaica's November international fixtures, which basically this is saying that we might see him for the November um, fixtures. This decision is a part of McLaren's strategy to boost his squad by incorporating English-born talents. Aiden, who joined Newcastle from Arsenal in 2016, has made 171 appearances for the club, who will be a key addition as the reggae boys push for a World Cup qualification. However, Aiden's future at Newcastle remains uncertain, with the midfielder not currently part of Eddie Howe's first team plans, not a, not a part of the first team. I made that clear. And spending last season on loan at Standard League and Queen's Park Rangers in which didn't go well. His decision to represent Jamaica follows his comment last year about not wanting to take part and take the place of someone in Jamaica's squad. Hmm, interesting. But after over a year of consideration, he has now committed to switch. So you know, decide to take somebody squad, somebody place in their squad. <laughs> um, <clears throat> He has now committed to the switch. This move comes after McLaren's successful recruitment of other English-born players, including Manchester United star Mason Greenwood, um, reportedly, who is reportedly switching allegiance to Jamaica. As, as Aiden prepares to, to don the Jamaican colours, fans eagerly await how his experience and skill will contribute to the reggae boys' journey towards the 2026 20, 
World Cup. So, we'll give you the details. Let me give you the analytical, the analytical opinion on this matter. Because by the time I do the analytical opinion, I do believe most of them probably turn off the video already and whatever, whatever. So, we don't really have to wait around to hear me, 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 my opinion on the matter. And my personal opinion on the matter. And I don't think it's really relevant to the, to the case. Though, but So, we don't necessarily have to stick around for it. But let me give you the analytical opinion on the matter. No. Central defensive midfield is a problem that we're suffering with right now. I did a video on it and how um, we're trying to, um, you know, call it round pegs in square hole. Uh, you know, in a sense, having um, Latibo here playing the CDM position in which truly is not necessarily a specialist in the position. And Steve Knocker did specifically sp um, spoke about having specialists for each position. Well, and that area of the reggae boys team is one area that we are having serious, serious problems with. Latibo there is not a specialist CDM. Casey Palmer is not, is not, a, is not a CDM. Kara Anderson is also a box-to-box -box slash number, uh, number eight. Um, not necessarily a specialist CDM. Even if he's a specialist CDM, he has matured in that role as yet. Still has, still has um, have a way to go. I do like Kara Anderson. And I do think that he, in time do, he might be the one that we might end up using in that particular position based off his maturity i know well or how fast he understands or grows into the game or into the role but that specific position and isaac aiden quality used to qual used to have the quality i'm quite unsure no i'm not so sure at this present moment that he has that quality he has been on a few loans and they didn't went um went too well they didn't um went down too well at all now people will find other reasons to say this is the reason why that is the reason why most of his loans that he has been on so far are not performance um, um are, are performance related and would you reason why they didn't work out well no he's not no he's no bug though for sure 170 at, um, um appearance in the premier league that means he has quality the problem is when was those appearances when and the last time he played in the premier league was in 2022 that was the last time he played in the premier league i think it was december he played against man city i think i was doing the research ah i'm gonna have a paper in front of me um actually 2021 2021 my apologies so it's actually it seems to be 2021 was his last game in in, in the premier league i should have had this at hand should definitely have this at hand, people. I think he played against. I'm never sure who he played against. I, must, I think a Man City played against. So what? That was his last game, 2021, people. That's <laughs> that I got to. That I got three oh, what, what, three years now. That I got to is three years now since he has played in the Prem, which means that technically that's a decline. Technically that's a decline. No, he's 29 years old. Next year, my 30. He's 29 years old. Next year, my 30. At this present moment, he is playing with the Newcastle Academy. He was demoted to the Newcastle Academy, which means that Eddie Howe view him, as mentioned in the article, not a part of this plan. Not a part of the plan, which means uh, he might not up to the task at this present moment, but he probably be good enough for a championship team or maybe a team lower down the pecking order in the EPL. So I'm not right enough to say that he does not have the, the level or the, or the quality of the EPL players, but at this present moment, he is not in favor of um, the new Newcastle head coach and he's playing with the Youth Academy. Now, with all that said, he's a specialist in the position and that particular position and that particular specialist is what we need in the team. We need it in the team. Now, if, we, if he should come show, I believe, personally, that he will improve the team. I believe that he will improve the team. What level will improve the team to? If the team is here, I'm unsure the bar that he, is pushing, he will push the team to. Maybe he'll push the team further, or maybe remain, remain the same. I'm unsure. But I believe that it, he will improve the team. So maybe if it's here, 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 or here, even if it's here, even if it's just budge, it's still improvement. One, he's a specialist in the position, so that 
generally will be an improvement and as i said that left that wealth of epl experience quite i um, mean i think it's quite important now where my stands are let me let me just play the video so you can hear people. just listen to this video people still believe that I've got a chance because I have the firm ability that or firm mentality that and nothing's impossible. Jamaica and the England squad approach you. Yeah. And they come together and they both <laughs> offer you yeah. an amazing opportunity to play for the country. Yes. Who are you? So right here, I don't think he said anything wrong right here. One, England, the prestige rated tip, nothing at all is wrong there. So I understand his decision in saying that he would definitely choose to play England over Jamaica. One, he was born in England. So nothing at all is wrong with that. Nothing at all. Let's continue. You choose England. Jamaica did approach me. They've approached me for two years. They'll now, this video, this interview was done in, let me, me be specific. He said Jamaica was, um, Jamaica, good. He said Jamaica um, have been approaching him or trying to get to him or trying to convince him for two years. Why well, listen to this now, people. This, was in, this interview was done in 2022. And I'm going to say basically, 2020, you know, said the, 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 the CV thing, yeah. So, what I said, 2019. So, Jamaica started approaching from 2019. 2019 was five years ago. Five years ago. At that point in time, he was 24. Technically, he was in his prime. He was at, as, um, um, he was at Newcastle at that point in time. In his prime, that is when Jamaica made the approach. And during, the, during his prime... There's nothing wrong with him believing that he can make England team and he will play or try to play to make England team. Nothing at all wrong. But I know a lot of persons always say Jamaica don't quote unquote um direct the, the JFF don't quote unquote what the players them in the diaspora. Which technically this is not saying this is just rubbishing that quote unquote statement. So if he's for the la from from the last two years, his last two years before he did this interview which is in 2022, so I'm going to say 2019, 2020, when he was at Newcastle, that's a long time we've been trying to get the player. Fine. Now, 29 in your prime, um, 24 in your prime, no to Jamaica. 29, when in a decline, yes to Jamaica. Let me continue. say the same thing now as what I said to them when they asked me. I've always said I wanted to play for England. I still have that dream now. I, I think for me, I have the mentality that everything's possible. Nothing's impossible until I've retired and I, you know my legs can't move or whatever. So until he can't, um, until he retired or his legs can't move, that's when he will give up the hope of playing for England. So, by that logic, is he now in retirement mode? Well, we have already seen the decline. We have already seen the decline. But is he now in retirement mode? This is... People reach a section of my, 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 my opinion now. No. My opinion may go, no, no. I have a thought-provoking question. No. This is based on what he, what he said. Is he now in retirement mode? And in, in finally give up the chance of saying, no, I won't play for England. But let me do something. Let me play some international football before me, 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 me officially say, me retire from football. All right, let's continue. Whatever it is, I still think I've got a chance. So in my head, even though I'm, at the moment I'm miles away from playing for England, in my head I still believe that I've got a chance because I have the firm ability that, or firm mentality that and nothing's impossible. And as I said, I have no issue there. I have no issue there with what he's saying in some in some things. 
for me, for me, we are the anal- the, I give you the analytical aspect or, or breakdown of it, and I think that yes, he will improve the team. But for me, for me, and I'm being honest here, I when when I look at Mikel Antonio playing for Jamaica, I can see that Mikel Antonio wants to play. I can feel his passion. I can feel it. What I just say, even if he play good or bad, I just say them, you can feel it. You can see it. Say this man really want this. This man really want this. For me personally, people. I do not want a player playing for my country if his heart is not in it. We understand we need to improve the team, but we definitely can find persons who heart is in it a hundred percent. They want it. They want to be a part of the team. They want. They want it. And if we continue and and go down the route of say you no. Know Wait until them reach 30, 35. Wait until the ball them reach 30, 35 and them decide to come in. Let me give you a perfect example. Omar Hutchinson at this present moment. And I'm prime. I'm prime. Omar Hutchinson said no. He gave us the, the go around and he said no. So finally he said no. Don't so. If at 30, Omar Hutchinson still haven't gotten the opportunity to play for the England senior team, ask yourself the question, should we really accept him and say come play for him now? From my perspective, no. From my perspective, no. Even if this squad will improve. Even if this squad will improve. Because at the end of the day, people, as I said, you can't cost me for this all in one. You can't know, can cost me from now till next year. All in one. This is my opinion on the matter. And you can't say, you know, and cancel this or that. Let me tell you something, people. Yes, when time, Mr. Andre Blake in the colors, when we see how Mikel Antonio play, when we see how Lati Bodier play, when I see Casey, I'm, I'm Casey Palmer player, when I see Daniel Johnson player, that's what, that, that are the passion of more. That, that, that are the heart of more. That more the players them will, will come and play because they desire it. And he make it clear that his desire is not there. But he's coming to play now. One, as I say, him out of favor at his club. He's out of favor at his club. That's what that's on a big part of it. He's playing with the academy team, academy team at this moment. And yes, he will improve the squad. hundred percent he will improve the squad. But down in the national colours, it's it's, it's it's a sacred thing, people. It's not just it's, it's not just gee any, any anybody just so because they're not. No, it's a sacred thing, people. And we have to we have to start show ourselves some self-respect. It's not me doing a video. Saying I don't want the player. It's me that in a video say, why no? When, when you publicly said we have been trying for years. So why no? It's me asking a question in this video. And it's a serious, serious question. People can laugh, people can, can grow on it as much as possible. For me, there's this youngster. Um, or would he come go for my international friend? I do, oh, wait, me again, man. Ah, uh, this young son, ha. Uh, my CDM, man. He's a CDM, man. He's a proper, proper CDM, you know. He's young, he play you. He want, they, we brought him in to play U20. I said, so why not give him a look in? Why not give him a look I don't remember. Uh, mm, I can't remember my name, man. I think he played, uh, he played a friendly for us as well. I think he played a friendly for us when we when we played Qatar. Um, and he did play he did play one of those friendlies. Why not give that youngster an opportunity in the CDM role? Let's see what he has to offer. I think he's from Leicester. Yes. From yeah, the youngster from Leicester. I'm not sure if he's still at Leicester. Why not give him an opportunity? But anyways, big up on the cell people, me know no cause Sergo, part I get it, me used to it already. Soon again, we're out. <laughs>